I'm joined at the FTTH conference in Amsterdam by Thomas Renault of Iliad, one of the most innovative providers in France. Thomas, it's really nice to talk to you. You, I think, were the first people to bring fibre into the French market, and you're a real, you're a real, real innovator, aren't you? Yeah, we started our fiber project back in 2006. So it has been a long journey between uh, pushing the right regulation, putting in place the processes, but today we are the number one alternative operator in terms of fiber in France. We have 10 million uh, connectable sockets. Uh, we have uh, 3,000 employees dedicated to the rollout of fiber in France. And on top of that, we are the number one alternative operator in terms of subscriber. It took us 12 years to get the first million of subscribers. And 2018 is really a year of transition, a year of acceleration, uh, because we increased our number of subscribers by 50%. And if it took us 12 years to get the first million of subscribers, it will take us only 18 months to get the second million. So we are in that unique moment in time in the history of uh, French fiber. I think you were saying the opening of the French market has, has helped. Uh, give us an update on the French sort of regulatory position. Yes, so uh, it's a very interesting uh, mechanism. Uh, we have basically uh, three different footprints. The dense zone, we all invest on our own. And in the medium and low density zone, there is a co-investment mechanism. So clearly, so far, the opening of the French telecom market has been a success uh, in terms of purchasing power for the citizens, in terms uh, of uh, reducing the digital divide, in terms also of investment cycle. But we should pay attention of, uh, on the right implementation of, the, of that regulation. And as you move forward, what for you are some of the next challenges? Fiber is still a big challenge and we have to pay a lot of attention uh, regarding the implementation of that uh, regulation, specifically in the co-investment uh, scheme, because in some cases uh, the co-investment is done, for example, with uh, the incumbent, and the incumbent has strengthened its position thanks to fiber uh, recently. Uh, and so we pay a lot of attention to two topics. Uh, there should be no operational discrimination and the equivalence of, his, of input is very important and two, we consider also that there should be a Chinese wall between the world sale team in charge of the co-investment mechanism and they have a clear view of where we invest and the retail team of uh, the incumbent. So this is a clear topic for us. Uh, clearly for us, fiber is the number one strategic uh, topic. We do believe in the future of fiber, but we need to have a proper regulation and we need also that strong political uh, will on that topic. Okay, well thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you, Brian.